Hello everyone, my name is Captain Cheerio. Welcome back. Um, today's tutorial, slash video, slash episode, slash whatever you want to call it, we're going to be sending these Kerbals, right here, to the moon. To the moon, how cool is that, right? Um, two things. My sister is working in the back, so it might be a little noisy, but we'll be okay. Um, and second, I hope you all liked that new intro that I put in. Um, that was very fun, and it actually just finished rendering this morning. So, uh, yeah. Lots of fun. Alright. Okay. So here we are. We're gonna go into the VAB. Today we're gonna design a rocket that's gonna take Kerbals to the moon. And it's a lot like building the drones that go to the moon, except for the fact that they are bigger, they weigh more, and they have to carry a lot more stuff. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and I'm going to build it and I'm going to speed it up for you guys. And then I'll go back through right before I launch it to, um, yeah, what am I trying to say here? So that you guys can see what I actually did. So, yeah, we'll start that now. Start. Please. All right, hello everyone, I'm back. Um, here we have the uh, rocket that I built. It took me forever, but I got it. So, we'll go through it really quick. So, up here we have the cupola module, which holds two Kerbals, I believe. I can't tell. Um, then we have our landing struts, which, if I extend them, Go just below there, keeping our center of mass very low, which is what we want, especially with all of this fuel. We have extra batteries to make sure that the uh, control uh, reaction wheels on there work. Then we have our second stage down here, which has the engine here and a lot of fuel, a uh, reaction wheel there, and some more batteries. Then we have some solid fuel rocket boosters and an EMU engine, which is part of the space wide lifters. Um, and some more reaction wheels. So, I'm gonna add one thing here real quick, which you will definitely need on the moon. Um, aha! Lights. Lights are very important. Lights are like the most important thing. Past, you know, life support and all that stuff. I'm actually going to put a few of these on as well to make sure we stay. That's not aerodynamic, but you know what? YOLO. Just like that. Alright. I will see you all on the launch pad. Alright. We're back. As you can see, we have our rocket out here. It's like it's holding very well. I'm going to fix fix the staging real quick. We want those to go off at the same time, but what we're going to do is we're going to keep it on low power unless we need it. Then those will separate, then that will separate, that engine will activate, that engine will separate, or that will separate, and then those engines will come on and we will use the mech jeb to pile it down. And for some reason we only have one Kerbal in there, but I do have to show you guys, this is the cupola module. How cool is that? You can see all around you. Looks like we're in space. Alright. Countdown. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. We are off. Look at that. We are already staying stable. And getting a ton of lift power. Goodbye, we'll Kerbal Space Center. The only problem is that we don't have a way of getting 
are Kerbal's back. Which brings me to my next point while we're in takeoff here. If you would like to see us bring Valentina home, leave it in the comments so that I know that's what you guys want to see. Or if you want to go to Minmus, I think that'll pretty much be our options um, for now. And if you have a better idea, just made a separation there. Okay, we're going to start arcing over. Right about... Ooh. Not good. Not good. Not good. There we go. There we go. Ah, oh, perfect little puppy. Ah, oh, perfect. Mwah! Perfect! Okay. As you can see, we're launching. Um, and the other thing, if you have a better idea for what you'd like to see, leave it in the comments. I mean, you know, we could go to other biomes. I'm not going to attempt to go to other planets yet, or any of the asteroids. Um, so yeah, because I'm lazy, and I want to actually do something cool. Okay, we're going to hit X on that. We are a little lower on fuel than I would like us to be, but we're also really high in orbit. Probably higher than we needed to be, but I was too busy talking. Okay, back it up just a little bit until it begins to flip. Push it back. That ah, looks pretty stable there. We'll tell it to flip to our target. Love the music! So majestic. Alright. Here we go. T minus two minutes till we need to be thrusting forward. We have a long ways to thrust. So we're gonna get right onto it. And this is pretty much the same. We're just gonna get into orbit around Kerbin. Then we're gonna use the orbit to thrust ourselves to the moon. And then from the moon, we'll get into a stable orbit. And then from there, we will deorbit and pile it down to the ground using the mech jab. So, should be rather easy. Then again, that's how most people think. And, well, we all know how Apollo 13 turned out. Two missions after they'd already gotten it right. So, uh, let's just hope this goes right. Thrusting. We might actually make this and not have to separate. That would be really nice. Oh, I think we're gonna make it. That's actually really nice. Okay. What the Kerbals are experiencing now is normally these kinds of G-forces would make a cur make an average person pass out. But thankfully, we are not sending average people to the moon. We are sending Kerbals! Just gonna wait until that turns green like that. Perfect. Then we will look at our orbit. Look at that amazing orbit. Amazing. Okay. And the other thing is we already have our landing spot picked out. Because we put our probe on there already. How cool is that? Okay, let's get out there, shall we? Thinking right here-ish. Push the apoapsis out. Just gonna look at it from up here. Okay, we can take this, we can rotate it. We can see right there, we have a perfect moon encounter. How much fuel do we have left in this stage? Just a little bit. I think we'll use what's left of it 
and then we'll use what's in that other stage. Like I said, this is easy, but here, let's look at this. Look at how awesome it looks. You can look around on the inside. You can see right there. We are not focusing in very well. Come on. Come on. Y you missed it. What? What? It's an eyeball. It's another eyeball. What does this say? Stop using bits of material. As. Oops. I don't know. You have spares. Okay. Fair enough, we have our spares. Left the emergency. Slide. With the. Bottom. Right. And our BKPS. I ate all the snacks. Of course you did. Okay. We are gonna warp to the maneuver. I did put another lander probe out there. Um, me and my friend, um, he didn't believe that it was possible to get Kerbals um, there. So I actually built a probe and sent it out there. Because he didn't think it was possible. So uh, we proved him wrong. Just like everything that I could ever do. Come out of that. We are aligned. Three, two, one. Right there. And go. Oh. Not entirely what I wanted to do, but that's okay. You usually wait five seconds, but I got impatient. Don't do what I did. Here we go. Pulling that engine back just little by little bit so that you know when you're gonna get there. And as soon as it turns green, that's when you've hit your maneuver. You wanna get it as close to zero as possible, but as long as it's green, you're pretty well good. All right, look at that, and we haven't even used up half of our fuel, except we missed our moon encounter. That's it didn't boost enough okay so we're going to warp all the way out there also tell me if you liked the intro I mean not that I'm going to change it for one person but you know I want to know what you guys think of it because I care about the YouTube channel whether you think I do or not Okay. There we go. Look at that. We're going to get into stable orbit really quick. I did not want to do that. Why did I do that? Oh gosh. That's a problem. That's a big problem. Tell you what. I'll get us into orbit, and we'll figure that out. Yeah, I'll be right back. All right, hello everyone. I'm back. Um, I am so sorry about that. Um, but good news is that our landing spot, I believe. is now lit. So I think instead of going somewhere else, I think we're just gonna go right for the landing spot. That looks pretty aligned. I think the mech jib can take care of the rest. Okay. That did take me a while to correct, but we got it. Um, I cut that out of the video for you guys. That wouldn't take forever. Um. Yeah, and sometimes that stuff happens, and you just gotta learn to how to correct for it. 
Um. Yeah. I'll see you at the end of the maneuver. Alright, we are about to do our maneuver. It is going to be great. We're going to have a wonderful time. We are going to go right in for the landing. Okay. Speed it up just a little bit. Make it not as long and treacherous for you guys. And shorten up that video for us. Here we go. Three, two, one. Alright. Moment of truth. Okay. Perfect. Alright. We are going to hit where we need to hit. Okay. So, now we're getting into the final and fun stages. Make sure our engine's cut off. We'll separate. And we'll activate our engines. Okay. Now, this is where it gets fun. How are we doing for electricity? We are all good. So I'm going to pull out the mech jab here. I'm going to go to my landing guidance. And we're going to pick a target on the map. Now where do we want to land? I think we made that quite obvious. With our target. That gives us something to aim for. Okay. Got a warp deploy landing gear. Everything looks good. We're going to tell it to land at target. Alright. That should be thinking about what it's gotta do. We are just going to sit here and watch and enjoy ourselves. Because we can. Look at Valentina. Man, she is ready to get trapped on the moon. She is all having a heyday over it, aren't ya? Yeah, you know it. Alright. Here we go. Ooh, okay. Pull out of that. Okay. What's it gonna do? A very good auto landing system. I'm gonna turn on the lights. Look at that. Oh, don't you love that surround sound, baby? Roger, we are heading in. Let's see how close it gets us. We are coming in very quickly. Okay, here we go. Adjusting it very rapidly. Oh gosh. Okay. I would be happy, I just don't want to land on that hillside. Where we're pointing now should be okay. Roger. Landing gear is going down. That was the other part of our thing. Okay. What are we even, like, doing? What has it decided to do? We're getting pulled down. Okay, so now we're traveling downwards, which is what we want. You want to be traveling straight up and down when you land. You don't want to be going laterally, because if your landing gear hits it and you hit it at the wrong angle, it's going to tip over. Here we go. 
Oh, come on. There we go. Good boy, Mech Jeb. Good boy. Good boy. Can it land? You don't have to be going this slow, especially with these landing struts. They're really good at absorbing impact. I'm just lazy, and Mech Jeb has decided to do everything for me. Because Mech Jeb is just like that. Alright, everyone, we have landed on the moon. I'm going to extend the ladder real quick. This goes right through that battery. And we are going to go for an EVA. How about it? And down that ladder. Alright, everyone. This is Valentina. She has made it to the moon. We're going to plant the flag. All right. Um, sign name. We're going to call this the Moon Landing. Amazing. We're gonna hit OK on that. Look at that amazing Kerbal Space Program. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna come over here, and we're gonna look that way. Oh, look at how amazing that is. Kerbal Space Program, everybody. How amazing, am I right? So, the other cool thing is that if you go into EVA mode, where you have pack, you can jetpack around the moon. Which means we could get up on top of this. I'm not that good at piloting. But look at that. The amateur has gotten on top. All right. Look at that. Okay. So thank you guys so much. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't like it, don't give it a like. Um, and if you like the channel, please subscribe. And remember to please comment down below what you want to see next. Whether you want to see us get Valentina home, whether you want to see us go to Minmus, um, I think those will be the two options for now, but if you have a better idea, please comment. So, thank you guys so much, and I will see you all in the next video. Captain Cheerio, signing off.